Now tonight we're going to be focusing on the soaps. Yes indeed, uh, throughout the next two hours you're going to be sort of hearing our, our latest comments on the different soap operas. And uh, I thought as, uh, as I'm at the mic, I'll open up and I'll uh, let's talk about Home and Away. Yes indeed, Home and Away, straight on the dials. And at the moment, of course, the saddest story in the show is the demise of uh, of poor old Bobby. Yes, yes, old fat Greg's bit. Um, how do, how <laughs> I shouldn't be laughing. Yeah, yeah. So, um, uh, how do you feel about that, Phil? Bobby's demise, sad or good? I, I, I really couldn't answer that, Sunshine. I've never been a fan of that particular show. I mean, I come home, have my tea, and then I'm away. I've never watched it. Never mind, never mind. Some of us play home, some of us play away. Okay then, uh, well, uh, I think it's quite sad myself. I mean, she was a good character and there was a bit of a laugh and everything. And of course, the guy that's being uh, blamed for her death is Adam Cameron. Yes, indeed, the famous old philanderer himself. Yes, indeed. Now, can you hear this, folks? Uh, uh, Mr. Compass is in the background here, the man who always finds his way home. What a pity we haven't got a pitch control tonight, eh, Mr. Street? And, uh, yes, uh, he's saying in the background that uh, it's a pity he smashed the gumball machine. And personally, um, the I think the story of Bobby has been overshadowed by the fact that Cabaret smashed Alf Meager's gumball machine. Because he, tr- he was trying to find an old coin or something, wasn't he? And, um, absolutely, Kurt, did you hear that? He said, if you smash a gumball machine, it's seven years bad luck. Well, if you're stuck with Alf Meager's face. I think you've had a uh, light of a bad luck. Do you remember him? Hey, Cameron, you flat drop me flaming gumball machine. You drunk <laughs> Anyway, um, so Cameron's gumball machine, certainly the uh, the best uh, storyline home and away at the moment, but uh, good fun soaps from the lads there indeed, yes. Uh, our next soap we'll be chatting about a bit later on is Brookside, so keep tuned for all that. A lot of scandal in that show at the moment, so uh, I think Phil can join in a bit more on that one because he's well up with the Brooks. And uh, we've also got uh, Johnny Compass in tonight, who's also a big Brook fan. Uh, all you lesbian fans, don't forget to tune in, we've got a lot of dirty little chatter to go on. Uh, I tell you, I can tell you what Beth and Margaret really got up to okay but on with the music now and uh, i'm gonna leave this one to phil phil's going to introduce this next track over to you phil one of your favorites mate isn't it oh yeah well as uh, regular listeners will know old phil's a bit of a take that fan and uh, i found heaven and i like this one so take it away street walker let's have a bit of the old uh, robbie gary mark howard and the other ugly one <laughs> 